Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. Coming up soon is a big rugby match in New Zealand, um, hopefully it still goes through. It is a North vs South match, where basically they pick 15 players for each side, and they basically play like 15 of the best, and this is like an all-black trial. It's basically like this thing they used to have called the possibles versus the probables, I think. And yeah, um, doesn't really happen now because of Super Rugby, like, there's not really a point having this competition when... They've got Super Rugby because they can just determine who gets in the All Blacks from there. But anyway, there's been a lot of talk about who's going to be on each side. And, you know, I thought, I thought I'd name my squad. So basically, this is my opinion. Like, if you have a different one, leave in the comments. Like, if you think I missed someone out, they could be on my bench or, like, the backup. But anyway, uh, let's start. We're going to start with the North team. Going to do the South after. Depends how long this video is. I'll do it in... Do two different videos or just one big one. Okay, let's start in North. Um, taking my loose head prop position at number one is um Carl Tuanukiafi. Um, Tuanukiafi, quite a consistent player. Like, he's played for the Blues and started off with the Chiefs. That's the first year he got into the All Blacks. You know, last year was kind of a quiet year for him. Did not see as much of his game. But um, this year he's proved himself pretty worthy of having it to be a contender in the All Blacks. So, yeah. That's why I've chosen him. Alright, at hooker. Um, this one was a bit harder for me. Because there are some pretty talented hookers that were available for this competition. And I had two options. I was going to choose one of the Hurricanes hookers. It was either going to be Dane Coles or Asafa Amua. And so it took me a while to determine which one I would choose. And I've gone with um, Asafa Amua. Now, the reason I went for him is because he's... He's came through this year and, you know, he's been a bit more solid of a player. Like, Dan Coles is naturally quite a good player, but I think he proved that he has a fighting chance of being, like, the starter hooker. I mean, he's going up against some pretty tough players in this competition, but, you know, he's, he's proved himself and he is the fastest hooker in the entire competition. Like, he can probably beat wingers in a race. And if you see him just coming on the sideline against, like, a small winger, like, and he's the same pace as you, you wouldn't know what to do. Alright, taking my tight head prop is, um, Offa Tonga Farsi, um, plays for the Blues as well. And he's been probably the best prop in the country, in my opinion. I mean, he's he's made solid tackles, he's very good at defence, and, you know, attacking wise he always takes the ball up. The only thing I don't think he's done good is his haircut. <laughs> but, um, you know, he's, he's made some pretty crucial tackles, like the one he did on Cruden. I mean, Cruden did get up, but, like, that was a big hit, and that's stuff that the All Blacks need in defense, especially against teams like South Africa. And, you know, yeah. So he would be quite a good player to have. Taking number four for the North Island team is, um, Blues captain Toy Pelotu, Patrick Toy Pelotu. Um, you know, he's it's been always quite a good player, and, you know, he started off, like when he first got in the All Blacks, he started off kind of like at the bottom because people were over top. They were just stronger players like Brody Vitalik and, you know, Sam Whitelock and stuff. But this year he's proved that he is a very good player. Like, he's come, he's led the Blues to have their best season in, like, about 10 years. Um, You know, he's he's got good defense. He's a strong attacker. Makes crucial tackles, turnovers. He's always there commanding his team and... That's why I've chosen him at four. Taking out number five is Scott Scrafton for the Hurricanes. Um, you know, it was a lot harder to choose a second lock for the side because, you know, I didn't really have any options to choose. But, you know, I thought he has had a pretty solid season for the Canes. Um, been, you know, strong in every area, attacking defense. And he has made a few mistakes, but, you know, he is quite consistent with his game and... You know, he could be quite a lethal player for the All Blacks. Alright, taking number six is Lachlan Boshia. Now, he's been about, he's been kind of outshined this year. And it's not because he hasn't played well, it's because the Chiefs haven't done well at all this season. I mean, he's still making crucial turnovers and game for them. And I think he's the leading try scorer on the team this year. Like, his work rate is, like, above so many of the players that he plays alongside 
His turnovers are crucial, which helps you just to win games, and it should have won us that game against the Highlanders. But, you know, he's always been solid at the game, and, you know, he will be very good for the All Blacks if he gets chosen, because he is a top contender. Taking out number seven, and my chosen, and who I choose that will be the captain for the north side, will be Sam Kane. I mean, he's been appointed All Blacks captain, and as much as the media is trashing him for the Chiefs just having a really bad season, he's always just managed to show that his work rate's above everyone. Like, him and Bo Shed combined are, like, probably one of the best, like, duos in the whole competition. He's, his work rate's, like, phenomenal. If you see his tackles, he just puts his body on the line and just his turnovers, his, you know, just work rate. Like, it's just amazing, like... If you've watched him play, he's just above everyone else he would play with. And honestly, as much as the media year is trashing him, he's still had a very good season. Especially after coming back from his neck surgery. You know, that's a big step. And, you know, just all around a top player. Now, number eight. Um, that was a pretty hard decision for me to make. Um, I had two options. And one was... A rookie, an underdog, and the other one was an all black test player. And you guys can probably tell who it is if you just think about it. And I've decided to choose the underdog over the all black. Um, yep, yeah, Hoskins Satutu will take number eight. Now, Hoskins Satutu, he's proved how different he is, and like his game is just really strong. I mean, it's his debut season and he's played probably the best, one of the best in the Blues. He's, um, as much as, you know, the All Black, who is Adi Savia, um, I would just choose the Tutu because he's been more recognisable in the season compared to Adi Savia. But, yeah, I would choose him because he's just stronger at the moment. Alright, number nine, I've chosen Aaron Smith. It's funny how Aaron Smith's come to the North to play, even though he's a Highlanders player. Um, he's, um, Aaron Smith probably been the key for the, um, for the Highlanders this year. He's proved himself, like, why he's the best halfback in the world. I would say that, like, what he's done to help the Highlanders this year is, like, too much. He's captained them as much as Ash Dixon's the captain. Aaron Smith's just shown he's just like meant to lead the Highlanders I mean it's quite obvious why you choose him if you see his game it's just amazing and you know just absolutely dominating the other halfbacks in the competition like Pitanara is good but like Aaron Smith's just got the pass and he showed his skills his tackling his kicking you know you don't really see him make many mistakes in the game all right number 10 number 10 was a tricky one because this player hasn't actually really played 10 this season. Um, he's played it, I think, twice. And he was going to play it against the Crusaders, but that got called off. So, well, I'm guessing he would have. And that is Bowden Barrett. I've chosen Barrett at 10 because, I mean, he's always been a good 10. And he's shown at fullback that he can play it very well. But I think just his 10's naturally his better position. I mean, 15's not bad, but, like, 10 is just where he shows his skills the most he's, he's got good kicking you know good passing good plays he's fast he's, he's very skilled and he will help the north team this season on this game uh, number 11 is um it was quite hard to make this decision this was actually the hardest one i had to make i had two options and same as number eight an underdog or an all black and i've chosen the underdog again um and that's caleb clark now, the All Black was Severis, and, you know, as good as Severis has been, if I had to base it on this year's performance, Caleb Clark has just played much better. I mean, he's he's shown his strength, like, and power from the sevens, but he's also showed his speed, his defense, and attack. I think he's shown that he's more than just kind of, like, a player that can run you over. Like, he he's shown that he has, like, the offload ability and skill and tackle. Yeah, and he, he will be a very good player. For the All Blacks, because I honestly do reckon he has a big shot of getting chosen. As you know, yeah, he's just topped the competition so far. Alright, number 12. I don't actually know if he's okay to play 
in this comp because of his shoulder injury, but it's um, for the Hurricanes, Nayane Lamapi. Now, Lamapi always been good, quite unlucky to miss out on the World Cup last year, and he's just shown this year that he's one of the leaders in the Hurricanes. He's got amazing run meters, good tackles, you know, just very good player. And I can't think of another 12 at the moment that's over him. I mean, th there's probably some that are close, but Lamapi's just good. Like, he's definitely above everyone. Number 13 is um Chiefs and Leonard Brown. Now, Leonard Brown, yep, one of the players in the Chiefs this year that's tried to help him win, but unfortunately, with, like, the unluckiness, I guess he just couldn't get the ball enough to help, like, set players up for tries and stuff. He's, um, he's had a good, pretty good season. I mean, it's a bit quiet because I guess it was kind of hard. He had to focus more on defense instead of attack because yeah, the ball did not go to him. But he has shown that he is, as always, an all-black, a good contender. And, yeah, especially him pairing with Lamapi, that would be a very good option for the North team to take. All right, 14, another underdog. And I did not choose Severis. I chose Mark Talia. Yeah, both Blues wingers top the competition this year. Mark Talea, his rookie season has just went from like no one knowing his name to like being like the top in Super Rugby Aotearoa and early Super Rugby. Um, you know, he's he's got a lot of skills and you know, he plays like how the All Blacks do and you know, he can just help them win games in crucial games. Like he's got that speed and just that skill that helps him get over the line in the end. Now, finishing my north side, um, we have... Oh, I'm not going to do the reserves because that's going to take too long. I mean, it's already 12 minutes, but I'll, I'll still cut it. Um, 15 is Damien McKenzie. Um, yeah, Damien's actually, surprisingly, you wouldn't know, but he's been the second most points in the competition. And I think most of our points this season were from kicks, so it would have all been Damien McKenzie. <laughs> but yeah... Um, as always, he's shown his talent, especially after last year's, after last season's injury that pulled him out of the All Blacks World Cup. I mean, All Blacks World Cup, Rugby World Cup. Yeah, so that's, he missed that opportunity, but he's come back and he's shown that he's still strong. His kicking's really good. And, you know, he's definitely one of the, t he's probably one of the fullbacks that will lock the All Blacks option yeah so that was out my north side um let me just start here i don't know what side this this side maybe yeah this side right there <laughs> but yeah that's my team um let's you want to hear it again i'll just name it um tuna kiafi asafu amua tuonga fasi tui pelotu scott scrafton lachlan boshia kane satutu aaron smith bonham barrett caleb clark lamapi alb Leonard brown Mark Talea and Damien McKenzie. So if you think that was, a, if you guys have any controversial options for that team, tell me in the comments below. But yeah, now let's uh, move to the South team. So good like a fat man with a painting. Yeah. Feeling so high like a black Yao Ming. Hey. Call me Godzilla because I got a big part. Uh. Went through war, got a purple heart. Needed my space, time, recovery. Now man's ace. Quit, summary, new discovery. Losing that weight. Post on the ground because I'm just great. I'm